Hello everybody, my name is Eduardo Tominaga. I'm a PhD student at the University of Oulu, where I work with the Machine Type Communications Group. And in this short video, I'm going to present one of our most recent papers. The name is No More Slogan on Multiple Access and Network Slicing, a Scalable Coexistence of EMBB and UR LLC. In this paper, we study the uplink scenario of a 5G network. In this scenario, multiple EMBB and or LEC devices are communicating in the uplink to a common base station. All the devices and this base station are assumed to have only a single antenna. The EMBB devices and or LEC devices share the same radio access network. Thus, the radio resources must be shared between both services in an efficient way. In this paper, we study two different network slicing strategies for the slicing of radio resources between both services. On the orthogonal slicing, the figure A, some frequency channels are allocated for URLC, while others for EMBB. On the other hand, under the non-orthogonal slicing, that is the figure B, the same frequency channels can be shared between EMBB and or LDC. And in this work, to allow a very high number of or LDC devices to be connected to the same base station, we allow NOMA for or LDC. This means that in the same mini slot, different Wireless users can transmit simultaneously and across multiple frequency channels, and to recover the multiple overlapping packets, the base station performs SIG decoding. To evaluate the performance of both device nice schemes, we plot the pairs of maximum achievable sum rates. For these 40 results, we set the following parameters. The average received SNRs of the MBB and URLC devices are 10 dB and 20 dB, respectively. We also set the reliability requirements for both services. In this case, 10 power minus 3 for MBB and 10 power minus 5 for URLC. In this figure, we have on the x-axis the MBB sum rates, on the y-axis the URLC sum rates, the dashed curves correspond to the non-orthogonal slicing, the continuous curves for the orthogonal slicing, and then we plot the pairs of maximum achievable sum rates for different numbers of or LS users performing NOMA. And in this case here, we observe that non-orthogonal slicing is always better for the orthogonal slicing in this range of MBB sum rates, but as we increase the number of wireless users, we decrease the sum rates, which means that we have a trade-off between sum rates and number of connected devices. Here we have an opposite scenario where the EMPP devices have better average received SNRs than the OR and LC devices. The MBB devices have an average received SNR of 20 dB the ORLC devices of 10 dB, and we still have the same reliability requirements from the previous case. In this situation, we observe that in some points of the curves, the orthogonal slicing outperforms the non-orthogonal slicing, for example, for the low values of the MBB sum rates. However, we also observe that for different points of the curves, when we increase the number of or LEC users performing NOMA, we also increase the or LEC sum rate, which means uh, double gain again on sum rates and again of number of connected users. Thank you very much for watching this video, and please check our paper that was accepted for the next edition of VTC 2021 Spring.